As far as the Exodus goes, it's kind of silly on his face when you look back at it. But Israeli archaeologists who had every motive to find something, two million people in the Sinai for 40 years, and they're not going to leave any trace? Nah. Here's what it would have taken according to the quartermaster general of the army. Because the Old Testament says 600, roughly 650,000 people with their families and with all their animals, so it would have been roughly 2 million people. They would need 1,500 tons of food a day. 4,000 tons of wood to cook the food. 11 million gallons of water each day. It would have required Moses to have two freight trains each a mile long to transport the food. Similarly, it was necessary to freight in the firewood for daily requirement. For, for the water, another freight train with tank cars. 1,800 miles long would be necessary. The problem, too, is that that many people would form a campground two-thirds the size of the state of Rhode Island. And remember, they had to cross the Red Sea. Logistically, if they went on a narrow path double file, the line would be 800 miles long and require 35 days and nights. <laughs> So there had to be space in the Red Sea three miles wide so they could walk 5,000 abreast to get over in one night. That's not counting all their personal goods and livestock. Even the conservative Jews, not the Orthodox, even the conservative Jews have admitted in their new Torah, all these stories are bullshit. 